It's time to go into the analytics of my small channel for this week. This is September 16th, Monday morning. And what I like to do every Monday is look at the analytics, look at the content I've created and look to see what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong in this journey of mine to monetize my channel. I believe this is week eight or week nine. I can't remember which week it is. I am hoping to be monetized by the end of 2024. We will see. We'll see how that goes. I have projections on different sites saying that it's probably going to take me until this time next year, 2025 to monetize. I would like to monetize a lot sooner than that. So I've been looking at my content and seeing what I can do to improve my content so that I can monetize faster. So, so here is my YouTube studio for today. I am looking at 277 subscribers. I believe last week I had maybe actually, you know what? I can look under content and I can look right here, 200 and looks like 260 eight last week. Well, let's go into the analytics and change this to the last seven days. 1.7 thousand views for the week, 19 watch hours and plus eight subscribers. The, the screens have a difference in numbers of subscribers. I, I don't know why. Um, so views weren't that great again. Uh, so I'm not putting out the best in content and I'm going to keep working on that. Uh, let's go to advanced mode and subscription source and see where those subscribers are coming from. Looks like four were gained on the YouTube watch page, two on my YouTube channel, two on the shorts feed and one on other than I lost one subscriber. And then let me go to the content tab. It's already sorted by subscribers. You can see that I got two subscribers on this little short that I did two subscribers on my week eight, which was last week, two subscribers on the audit that I did on Sean's account. And looks like that's it. So it looks like my week three, is not being pushed anymore because I'm not getting more, any more subscribers on that. I could probably look for that under views if I sort it by views and see if my week three, because my if you watched my previous videos, you saw that my week three episode, this one right here, was getting a lot of views, which looks like this week it, it has stopped with the views. And that, that's totally fine. So going back over to my content, I know that I posted two long form videos, which was my goal in addition to this one. So that would be three videos a week, my analytic video and two other videos. So I posted this one right here, this, um, purpley one, eight subs, 8,000 subs and not monetized. It was an audit that I did on someone's account. Um, so this one got pretty good views, 72 views, eight comments. And then this one was a video that I did about scripting where I actually scripted the video and 62 views and seven comments. And then my last video that I did one of these, of these getting monetized one, 23 views and nine comments under shorts. What I tried to do this week, I, I posted one, two, three, four, five, six shorts. So these shorts are an excerpt from this video right here, this challenge yourself video. So what I ended up doing was I ended up using a program called Opus clip to take these little clips of, of the video and make them into shorts. And then I have it pointing to the full video. So some of these got, you know, pretty good. This one got 498, 319, 307, pretty good views. I mean, not, not too bad. And then what I want to see is on the original video where I am pointing to, I want to see the analytics on that video and see if any of the traffic is coming from the short. So I would see that under reach, I believe. And scrolling down related shorts. It doesn't look, I only got one view from the related shorts. So, you know, that's telling me that it might not be that beneficial to be posting those shorts. I might keep trying to do that. The funny thing that this week is I got a comment from someone saying to please just get in the kitchen. And I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go with the hateful comments. I mean, some people can be so rude. So whatever. So what did I do wrong this week? I don't think I did anything terribly wrong. I still don't think that I'm making good enough content. I don't think that I'm on my exact niche yet. Right. Because I'm talking about how I'm improving my channel, which I don't know if that is ultimately what my channel is going to be about. Right. So if I'm, if I'm saying I'm doing this challenge and I'm trying to you know, put, post more content and I'm looking at my thumbnails and I'm looking at the content that I'm creating and I'm scripting my videos and I'm doing all of that stuff. And that's what my video is about. I don't necessarily know if that that's what my channel is about. I, 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 I kind of want my channel to be about 
my quest in monetizing on multiple platforms, like building multiple income streams. However, I haven't been posting videos about that, right? So I should be posting videos about all of those things. I should be posting videos about the Amazon influencer program, the TikTok shop program, like how to make money on those things, how to do things. So that's where I think I'm doing things wrong is I'm mostly more just talking about what I'm doing to improve my YouTube channel, but I'm not going over what the meat and potatoes of what I want my channel to be about. So that's what I'm going to strive to do this week is instead of just posting too long form video about, you know, just making that part of my, my, my goal for this week is I want at least one of my long form videos to be about how to set up some kind of in income stream or some kind of tips for setting up that, you know, not just the YouTube channel part, you know what I mean? So this week, I think I'm going to post a video about a uh, TikTok shop and possibly how I can get products that will solve the TikTok shop thing and make videos for TikTok shop. And then also finding those very same products on the Amazon. So that's, that's an idea that I have is kind of like double dipping into those things. So we'll see how that goes. That, that's going to be my goal for this week is to post at least one long form video along the lines of the channel. So that can start beefing up my playlist, right? So I'm looking at my channel as a TV station. And then the playlists are the different programs that people can watch. So like when you go on PBS, you know, PBS is a learning, a learning channel, but you can, but you can learn about different things on the PBS channel, right? It's not all about like, this is a channel about turtles. It's going to be <laughs> a channel about you know, African wildlife, it's going to be a channel about, um, you know, how the human eye performs or whatever. So I'm just making up stuff, but that's what I envision my channel to be about. It's going to be multiple different topics that are all kind of under the same umbrella. So it makes sense to fit on the same channel, but I don't want to just be like YouTube monetization, YouTube monetization, because that's just one lane for me. I'm, I'm not just doing this for YouTube monetization. I'm doing this for Amazon influencer program, TikTok shop, uh, Benable, just any other place that I can make money online and, you know, make content about. So, <laughs> so that, that's where I'm going with this. And, um, if you want to learn more about that Opus clip thing, I'm going to put another video up right here on how to, how to do that, how to get the clips for, from Opus clip, how to upload them here as short, and then how to tag the related video. So if you want to check that out, that's going to be right here.